of the small hitchhikers that will be sharing the Soyuz ride to orbit with Sentinel-1B. CubeSats, these small but ambitious satellites, have been designed, built and tested by students under the supervision of their university professors and the ESA Education Office. This is really exciting. Uh, it required a lot of time and work, but uh, it has been a great opportunity to do a real space mission. This is our uh, second CubeSat that uh, the university launched with ESA since our professor believes that it's really important to combine theory and practice. Alvo University has already launched four CubeSats. The last one was in October from the International Space Station. And this one is going to go up on Cyrus, which we are very excited to. It has been uh, tested like uh, any other big normal satellite. So we have learned a lot through this experience. Uh, it's a great project for the students because uh, it's the occasion to apply uh, practical stuff and not only the theoretical stuff they have learned at school. They learn how uh, other students think in their own country. Uh, then they have to think by themselves, not only study. They have to take to find solution uh, to real problem uh, with real stuff. Ufti-1 from Liège in Belgium will test a new advanced amateur radio communication protocol by hosting a repeater in space. Italian E-Star 2 from Turin will demonstrate a novel satellite attitude determination system by using the Earth's magnetic field as a reference. And AAU Sat-4 from Olberg in Denmark will test a way to track and identify ships transiting away from coastal areas, enabling them to use new shipping lanes in a safer way. The TRIO was given the green light in January and installed in an orbital deployer at Estec in the Netherlands in March. On the 5th of April, in Kourou, the satellites were integrated onto the portion of the launcher that will be hosting the CubeSats on their ride to space. During the Fly Your Satellite program, the students were guided to adopt the same engineering methods and standards which are usually adopted in the European space programs. And this made it possible that uh, their satellites are recognized to meet the same standards of safety as the main co-passengers of this same flight. The student teams involved in this launch campaign know very well that they are taking part in a real major ESA launch and not just in a student's project. Fly Your Satellite is ESA's paramount program for university students. ESA Academy, in close partnership with European universities, is helping students to face the challenges of their future careers in space. One of ESA's main goals is to inspire and educate young people in education through science and technology from the earliest age up to university. It's a great feeling to be here in Kourou, in French Guiana, with the satellite almost in space and ready to work. It is really interesting when an educational project such as uh, ISTAR2 meets uh, the experts from ESA. Of course, uh, this uh, leads to the discovery of a lot of uh, problems that will be solved and, are, and has been sol have been solved with the help of the experts from ESA. It's very nice to be in the middle of, of the integration uh, of, a, of, a, of an entire rocket. Um, it's an amazing place and, the, and every, everyone is talking about space. So being here is a, a really good experience. And now, it's only a few weeks before the students will see their small satellites in action in space.